So one KTM 790 simply just, uh, it wasn't enough. So we had to get another one. Well, well, I didn't, my dad did. Now he's been racing motocross like me. He jumped on my bike for a spin and fell in love with this machine. So naturally he went out and got himself one as well. Alrighty, what's up everybody? So we've been riding for a few hours this morning. It's been a lovely morning. So we're kind of riding through our local forests, which is great because there's a lot of different kind of terrain to tackle. You know, little forest tracks and gravel like we've got here, lots of sand. We've had some really technical up and down hills. So just a, a great day on adventure bikes to be honest, tackling a bit of everything. So like I said before, Dad's been uh, riding since he was since he was young, racing motocross. Uh, he was on the street for a while. He had a Kawasaki Vulcan S. That's the bike that got me into cruisers and got me eventually into my Harley. But he wanted to mix things up. He wanted to uh, have a bike that was a bit more of a, of a weekend toy rather than a commuter. And uh, if you're gonna have fun, it's best to have fun off-road. And now we have this bloody steep technical downhill already. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so looking here, one of the key tips for riding adventure bikes in technical areas is plan your bloody line early. So here, obviously we wanna stay on this right path. We don't wanna be in the, in the rain snakes here. So this log is blocking the perfect line. I'm gonna move that out the way, then we should be all good to go. <laughs> Easy, right? <laughs> Alrighty. So on the pegs, nice and slow. On that front brake, and just let it down nice and easy, a little bit of back. Look at that. Perfect place to cross. Okay, so we've got more of a technical spot here. I might just stop again. I'm gonna plan the route. Yeah, but I don't know how I'm going to get across now. You could probably do it here. So I think I'm just, I'm just going to stay left. Just nice and slow. There we go. And that is how we do it. Nice and easy, pick your lines, keep momentum up, let the bike do the work. And we've got more, so nice rocky technical downhills on this section. What a great time to turn the camera on. Yeah. So, um, whoa. so one of the reasons my dad got the 790 as opposed to another adventure bike was simply just because of just how well this bike handles this this kind of terrain. You know, of any of the mid-sized adventure bikes, it's just in a class of its own when it comes to off-road technical terrain. You know, once you get used to the, some of the weight, you can really ride this thing like a big oversized dirt bike essentially. So one thing that we struggled at in recent rides that we didn't capture on camera were we didn't have a communication system. We weren't running center and what it meant was, you know, I couldn't 
let my dad behind me know what kind of terrain's coming up. You know, watch out for this or watch out for that. Keep left. Just calls that on the trail that really help, especially when you're riding a new motorcycle. You really want to be focusing on the bike itself. You know, how's it handling? How are those tires feeling? You know, what's the traction like? Traction control settings on this bike. Those are the things you really want to be focused on. Not, holy shit, is that a log? Or is that a big hole leading into the abyss? So now that we're riding with the new Senna 50S communication packs, it's made our ride so much more enjoyable. We can kind of focus on the ride itself, on the bikes, the landscape, and you know, as I'm leading at the moment, if I see anything, you know, nefarious on the trail, I can let dad know behind me and uh, it's definitely made the, the trip just so much more enjoyable and just also like daily banter being able to have a laugh and a chat whilst riding motorcycles it just doesn't, uh, doesn't get better than this And more technical, uphill. Here we go. It's gonna use the momentum. Look at that! How was that? <laughs> yeah, that was cool! That was awesome, huh? And we're back. Go on, you go. So we are on the last stretch of our ride today and the weather is starting to turn. We've got a storm rolling in, so we're trying to hightail it out of here and beat it home. Yeah. 